Analysts are comparing two hospitals to determine if there is a difference in proportion of billing errors between the two of them. Here's data from a random sample of bills sent to patients from each hospital displayed in a two-way table. A chi-squared test of proportions allows us to test multiple population proportions simultaneously to see if they're all equal. But I want you to make another important connection to a previous test. So we're looking at this simple case of just two populations, two hospitals. The observed sample counts are shown. We need the expected counts for each of the four cells. Here's the formula. We should show the work. The expected count in any cell is its row total times its column total divided by the combined total. Expected billing errors at hospital A is 120 times 24 divided by 200. But hold the phone. Recall that if we were doing a z-test on proportions, we would know p1 hat and p2 hat and find the pooled p hat like this. The pooled p hat is the estimate of the same proportion assuming the null is true. So the expected count formula makes sense. The column total divided by the grand total is p hat, in this case 12%. Hospital A took a sample of size 120, so we would expect 12% of those 120 bills to be in error. Look at hospital B's expected errors. Its sample of 80, the row total, is also multiplied by pooled p hat, the column total divided by the grand total, and the other two cells are the expected failures, 1 minus p, or 88% failure rate, multiplied by the sample sizes. We now follow the chi-squared test statistic formula for the component in each cell and add the components to get a test statistic of chi-squared equals 1.14. We compare this to the critical chi-squared value. We need degrees of freedom for these last two types of chi-squared tests. It's going to be row minus 1 times column minus 1. We have two rows minus 1 and two columns minus 1, so the degrees of freedom is just 1. And we can see this if 14.4 is expected in the upper left cell, there's no more freedom for any other expected count. All the other cells must be the precise amounts that make the rows and columns add up to the proper totals. 14.4 plus 9.6 adds to the 24 successes, and 105.6 expected failures are necessary to account for hospital A's sample size of 120. The critical chi-squared value with one degree of freedom trapping 5% is 3.84. Since our test statistic is not this extreme, we fail to reject the null. The evidence fails to suggest a difference in the proportion of billing errors between the two hospitals.